When I was a little girl, my mother used to tell me stories of an island in the Aegean Sea where people stayed healthy and young for ages. Daniel and I decided to visit the island of Akaria, the island where it's said that people forget to die. We will be showing you the simple yet forgotten truths of these modern day immortals. We just got to this beautiful island. Let us show you the forgotten truths of the Ikarian people. We're spending a week in a blue zone. Let us explain. Blue zones are regions where a higher than usual number of people live much longer than the average. There are five blue zones in the world. Loma Linda, Nicoya, Sardinia, Akaria, and Okinawa. I'm sure the next week is gonna be super interesting and we're gonna learn a ton. Daniel and I have been reading about Blue Zones, especially Akaria. So excited for this week. I can't wait to learn everything from the Akarians. Akarians live by four major lifestyle pillars. A good diet, movement, no stress, and community. And one more thing, they have something called the Immortal Waters. We'll get to that in just a second. This week, we are gonna be fully immersing ourselves in the Ikarian way of life. Everybody at home, come along with us on this journey. Did we mention that there's an actual fountain of youth here? Yeah. Our journey begins here, searching for the fountain of youth. We are in the hunt for the fountain of youth. This isn't really on any website, I just kind of heard about it through locals that there is a stream on the side of a cliff. Locals know it as the Fountain of Youth. So we're gonna go try and drink a little bit of the water. There's a sign on the road that says Athanatonero. It translates to immortal waters. In Greek this says pros Athanatonero, which means towards the immortal water. It says Nero Athanato, this way. And we're just in this little Greek village next to the ocean and we are going off of these not so official signs that say immortal water. We haven't seen another sign or anything yet. The search for the immortal stream continues. The sign is right here. This water is clearly coming from underground. I'm assuming it's coming from the mountains. Fountain of youth. Definitely fresh water. Maybe this is where Ikarians come and drink all the time because they live for a long, long time. Who needs anti-aging face cream when you have the fountain of youth right here? That's like so pure. Speaking of immortal waters, the Ikarian hot springs are next. We are off to enjoy the famous thermal spring here in Ikaria. Locals believe that the coffee in the thermal springs actually help deal a lot of ailments. So we're going to check it out ourselves. Maybe this is one of the reasons why Ikarians live so long. So we're going to get in and we'll tell you all about it. Come with us. As always, Olga wants me to go first. So let's go. So the thermal springs that we are in right now are actually quite warm and the mineral content in the water is supposed to help with a lot of ailments. The Ikarians have been bathing in these thermal springs for centuries. Some areas can get boiling hot, so be careful. This was an awesome experience. Another Ikari lifestyle choice checked off the list. Let's see what a typical meal looks like for an Ikarian. I'm gonna go have traditional Ikarian cuisine at this tavern. Order two grilled fishes, two traditional salads, and some Ikarian wine. Stiniyamas. Simple, very, very healthy ingredient. Something we love. The cuisine is so simple. It's just a fish that was roasted on coals. Love it. There is something to be said why the Mediterranean diet is always at the top of the best diets in the world. So that's what the Ikarians follow, so we will too. For dessert, we decided to get an Ikarian treat. Ikaria is known for its honey and the numerous medicinal advantages it has to health and longevity. The diversity of the land in the mountains of Ikaria allow for the most favorable production of honey. The locals enjoy a spoonful of it every day with their tea in the morning. We had the opportunity to meet Andones Caribales, the owner of the bee farm whose family has been beekeeping for five generations. His honey has won numerous awards and is regarded as one of the best organic products in the world. He is known throughout Ikaria in Greece as one of the best producers of Ikarian honey. We didn't know it at the time that Andoni would become our Ikarian uncle for the remainder of our trip. So we'll refer to him as Uncle Tony from now on. I'm about to try some honey. Oh, check this out. Oh, that's really good. 
Yeah. Have you tasted honey like this before? This island keeps giving us the best stuff in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Most honeys, you know, it, it would drip down. This is very viscous. Wow. It's amazing. We just tried the best honey in the world. After trying that, I'm officially five years younger. Uncle Tony and his family were the nicest people in the world. We really felt the Akarian hospitality. He insisted on giving us honey from his farm, and he even introduced us to his mother, who shared the Akarian secrets of longevity with us. But more on that later. Andones was kind enough to show us his bees and the way he harvests the honey up in the mountains. It was a super unique experience to witness. The beekeeper told us, hey, if you want to come and see where the bees are and such, just follow along. We're following him right here. He told us that we can't get out of the car because the bees here in Ikaria are uh, very dangerous. Now we're gonna do a car tour where all the bees are. Okay, here we go, rugged terrain. It's been the theme of the Ikarian travel. Uncle Tony got in the car with us and showed us around his office. We're gonna put the link of the honey place right below. Um, definitely a place to come check out when you're in Ikaria. Everybody is so kind. The Greek hospitality here, like I'm so proud to say, is alive. On our way back, we noticed an elderly lady walking uphill. We tried to give her a ride, and to our surprise, she kindly declined. She told me this was her daily walk to get bread. We were amazed by her ability to cruise up the hill with ease. When you think aging youthfully, you probably don't think alcohol. But here in Ikaria, they maintain the old ways. And the wine here has an immense amount of polyphenols and health properties. Ikarians are known for their traditional winemaking. And today we are actually touring the traditional winery. This is one of the oldest wineries here in Ikaria and it dates back 500 years. We were given a vineyard tour by a superstar in the world of wine. Eliana Karamadlis has been featured in Vogue magazine and has aspirations of turning Ikaria into a little Tuscany. She gave us a tour of the property and told us how her family has maintained the traditional way of winemaking. Their wines are fully organic, free from chemicals and additives. It's just the grapes and the fermentation process. And that is why it's one of the healthiest in the world. The wine tasting was out of this world. You could tell how proud and knowledgeable Ileana is about her craft. We're getting a bottle of that. She even told us a little bit more about the Ikarian lifestyle. Ikarians are the hard workers until the age of 80, 90 years old. So Some workers until yes, the so age of 90, 90 years, years old. old. They still have animals, uh, with his wine, vineyards, olive trees. It's really mm -hmm. good. If you ever find yourself in Ikaria, we highly recommend visiting them. We'll leave a link in the description below. We have to admit, our relationship with stress wasn't the best back home. There were some days where we would sit and watch Netflix on the couch all day. Our days were filled with constant to-dos and deadlines. This stressful and sedentary lifestyle was literally killing us. The Ikarian lifestyle is stress-free and these people are constantly in motion, another key to their longevity. To exercise, we decided to hike to one of the most beautiful beaches in Ikaria, the Seychelles Beach, where we practice the art of no stress. This is so beautiful! We have the entire place all to ourselves. This is one of the best beaches we have ever been to. This is amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. And just like the Ikarians do, we are relaxing and drinking some Ikarian wine in the Cheers. Seychelles Beach. Yeah, must. The Seychelles Beach happens to be one of the most spectacular beaches in all of Greece. It's a little hard to get to, but 100% worth the view. I found something really strange under the water. I think this beach is the only one that has it. How did that get down there? If you get a chance to come to the Seychelles Beach here in Ikaria, you won't regret it. By far one of the best beaches we've ever been to. Definitely check it out for yourself. The most beautiful beaches are usually the hardest ones to get to. This one fits the bill. The four pillars of the Ikarian lifestyle are perfectly exemplified in the local panihiri. The entire community comes together, has fun, dances, and eats local foods like lamb, cabbage salad, and homemade wine. These can last for the entire day into the late hours of the night. If you're interested, we made an entire video about our experience. 
We'll link it in the description below. So you guys remember the beekeeper? He was kind enough to introduce us to his mother, who gave us insight into the forgotten secrets of the Icarian lifestyle. Uncle Tony and his mother told us a very interesting story about a fellow Icarian. There was a man who was diagnosed with, with cancer in America, uh -huh. um, and his doctors told him, your times are limited, so you're going to have to either live yeah. out the rest of your days here or go back to your hometown in Icaria. He came back to Icaria, he had his farm, he, he just did the way of life in Icaria, and he's still living today. Mrs. Karamalis told us a little bit more about what it means to live the Icarian lifestyle. So before when she was growing up, it was all about love. But now she said everything is about what you can get from somebody else and making money and it's not about love anymore. She drinks two glasses of wine. She just told me she had two glasses before she came to talk to us. <laughs> she said walk a lot and do not stop yourself. A little bit of food. <laughs> Back then they didn't have much stresses. The stress was basically like what they're going to eat or where they're going to go the next day and now life gives you too much stress so back then the life was less stress the food was not tainted not chemicals preservatives mm. things like that it was just simple simple food and no stress just enjoying life thank you so much thank you so much it is our last night here in Icaria and the Icarians are inviting us to go to the bar and hang out with them so that's exactly what we're gonna do and that's one of the tenants here hang out with people that you care and love two or three people have already invited us so let's spend the last night in Icaria like the Icarian not really sure where this place is they just said go down here it's open <laughs> <laughs> and of course uncle tony showed up to the party so what did we actually learn from the Icarians? to sum it all up the lessons to live by are to live close to nature move every day eat simple foods and to love deeply maybe we can all take something from the Icarians and learn to live a longer more youthful life thank you so much for watching